Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing around with creating in frames in our art journal. So um, I have just used some washi tape to create some weird and random frames in my um, art journal. And this is a technique I like to use a lot um, when I don't want to think very much or I've got small stamps that I want to use um, or if I'm doing an abstract and I want to do it over the whole thing but then I want to have an interesting shape at the end so I'm just going through and gessoing my page I've got my stabilo oil pencil I've just drawn over it so for the moment I'm treating the entire piece as one not looking at the individual frames and I suppose this is the same as, as creating a background and then I'm cutting it into smaller pieces. You get um, lovely little snapshots that you may not have thought about or may have gone together before you um, peel off the washi tape. So it's a, it's a fun way to create something and then see what it looks like at the end when you reveal the, the end piece. So I'm just going in with some mineral and turquoise colour, um, some blushing, a little bit of this Dica Marini colour. This is a colour palette that I really love using. Um, I'm very much sort of a cool cool based person but I like having that pop of pink or um, a magenta e colour through it so you've um, just got a little bit of warmth on the page. Doing a little bit of ghosting with my marine colour so I can get, see some of those layers coming through. Um, going in with some more stencils and adding some colour as well. So with the hearts in the background just adding a little bit of white back on the page. So. Um, for those of you who know, I'm not very good with white space. Having white space is actually something that's quite good to have on a page. <laughs> Helps draw the draw the eye. So um, you know, adding in occasionally is quite nice. I'm also adding a little bit of white on the page because I did know I wanted to stamp the background. I wanted to add a little bit of colour in the background. So I needed to have some white that those colours would actually stand up to it. So with my finished background here, I'm making sure it's all very, very dry and it's a little bit deceiving on screen, but um, I can sort of actually still see where that tape is. So I can kind of plan where I'm stamping. So it's not random just stamping anywhere, but I can, you can see me sort of feeling around where the tape is so I know um, where things are going to end up. Um, when I stamped that one, I didn't stamp it very well, so I'm just going in with my paint pen to um, draw in the bits that I missed when I stamped. Um, it's always handy that you can do that. It makes it very, very easy to um, fix up little mistakes that you make. So this stamp set is from Funky Fossil Designs. It's um, designed by the amazing Claire Stead, who runs um, Art Journal Love um, on Instagram and on YouTube so go check her out um, art workout um, I'm really glad that I can be supporting an arty friend in their new endeavors of making um, stamps and stencils and all sorts of fun things so um, yeah it's just nice to see people that you've been following on Instagram for ages suddenly start making their own stuff so that's really really cool I'm just stamping, stamping, stamping. Um, it's got all these lovely faces. Uh, on this little um, lady here, um, it's the same image as the one up the top, which had the two buns on the either side, but I decided I wanted them all to have different hairstyles. So I just didn't stamp the top of her head and then just drew it in with a paint pen. So don't be afraid to change the designs. Obviously you can use them as inspiration, but um, if you wanted to change something, change your hairstyle, just don't ink that little bit up and draw it in yourself. It's a really handy way to um, create your own art as well, using a little bit of a um, guide to help you. With the words I stamped on here, they um, I want to colour them in with a metallic. Um, and with my pen, because it was a bit wide, it went over the top of some of those letters so I'm just going again back in with my ever trusty black pen and drawing around them again so I've got that framed um, lettering which I really really liked. 
It's got create your own tribe and be a lovely human, which I thought was really nice with those figures around my page. So we're kind of getting up to the exciting part where we do, do the reveal. Um, and it's always my favorite bit when I'm, I'm using this washi tape just to see what it looks like in the end. But before we got there, I decided I wanted to color in my images. So I'm just using my um, Stress watercolor pencils and just mixing some sort of warmish face tones. Putting in lips and cheeks and then I thought I'd go weird and random with my hair colors. So I've got some, you know, quite muted colours in the background. I've got the muted skin tones. So I wanted to have a little bit of pop of colour on this page and that was going to come from the hair because we're talking about having sort of this creative tribe around us being lovely humans. So I thought, well, why not have funky hair to go across with these creative people that I'm drawing in? So in most cases with um, doing the skin tones and so on, I'm using similar colours. So... Um, I think, I don't know the distress colour names. <laughs> I think it was Wild Honey. Um, yeah, I don't know. But using some um, deeper purples and blues as my shadow colours. So in the close-up you'll sort of see um, the, the shadow colours. I'm, I'm choosing this one's like almost an eggplanty colour. And then blending that in with some lighter colours over the top. So these colours as you can see, go over the top of the acrylics really, really well. I'm not using too much pressure to do it. And again, any colouring medium will work. Um, the Dina Wakely paints that I have used in the background are matte, so you can use colour pencils over the top, uh, but I've found things like scribble sticks and these watercolour pencils do tend to go over a little bit easier. And once I've got a layer of that, then I can put colour pencil over the top. So it's, it's just what paint you're working with. I do find if I want to use colour pencils in particular, I tend to use my um, Paper Artsy chalk fresco paint, um, uh, acrylic paints because they are just that little bit more matte and they've got a little bit of tooth with the chalk in it that they um, allow for you to have the, the colour pencil straight over the top really, really easily. Once I've finished doing my colouring pencil, I'm just going back over with my black pen I'm putting in some of those details that have been lost a little bit with the um, colouring over the top. You can see my <laughs> black pen kind of exploded a little bit. So I'm actually just dipping the end of the pen, sort of using it as a bit of an inkwell, dipping the end of the pen into that little splodge of black and um, using that to create my lines. Usually I would use my um, stipular or pencil to do my black line work, but in this case, um, I was happy to use a black pen. I've just got something really solid. It helps look more like a stamped image than something sketched out. So once I've finished, I am then going to heat my page. One, to set the page, but also to help release the um, washi tape. So you can see there it's caught a little bit. Just heat up as you go along to help remove the tape. It just makes it a whole lot easier. So here you can see my... Um, finished page you can sort of see how the framed work and close up you can see the texture of the um, paint it's just a really really easy way to create a lovely page this would make a fantastic card front as well using the same sorts of techniques or a scrapbook page so break out your washi tape that you don't use very often create a frame on your page make a background and then divide it up and you'll um, have a bit of a surprise at the end which is lovely thank you so much for watching until next time bye for now